it is your responsibility as a woman to feed your feminine and I am very excited to offer four week intensive fulfilled where we're gonna cover gratitude because our ability to notice what's good actually cultivates more safety in our lives. Then week two, we're gonna do some savoring practices because savoring is our ability to cultivate pleasure. We might have this idea that I need to get pleasure somewhere, but no pleasure ever will be enough if you don't have skills to appreciate it, to celebrate it, to surrender to it, and to feel it deeply in your body. Week three, existential kink. Because if our shadow or our pain is something that we avoid, then it's technically running our life. And recently I experienced it myself where I uncovered a fear that literally was started like running my day-to-day -day life. And I'm like, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, ah, 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 that's not happening. And I did existential kink practice and I found turned on and that ability to find pleasure in something that I was thinking I'm afraid of actually gave me ability to liberate from it and to feel that, no, I have enough courage and knowledge to face it with trust and with integrity versus me trying to suppress it or avoid it. And I think a lot of time we spend so much time on trying to prevent something from happening versus shed a light to it and find our own gold in the experience. So existential kink is extremely impactful practice. If you never experience it, definitely uh, join the course. So you can learn the practice that's gonna set you for enormous success in your personal life. And week four, sex magic. Bringing this juicy pleasure into creating consciously what you want to experience in your life because first you feel it and then you have it. I did it this course at the beginning of the year. It was extremely impactful. I'm super excited to offer it at the end of the year. I think it's been very intense year and God knows what waits us ahead of time. And for us, for women, we don't have a luxury not to spend time to consciously nourishing ourselves because the way we feel creates enormous impact in how people respond to us, what's available to us, and what quality of life are we living. And that's the feminine way of stepping into our power by prioritizing ourselves. A lot of people has this misconception idea that feminine is about what is it that I can get? How will I ask about it? And how will I create the experiences where I can have it? But it's like jumping several steps ahead of time. What is truly empowered feminine is you putting the rest of the world on hold and going in. Putting your attention on you. What are you feeling? What are you wanting? What are you creating? What are your experiences? And without being able to prioritize yourself, you're not going to have all this abundance, juiciness, orgasmic feminine lifestyle that screams at you from all of these spiritual channels. Because you skipping the most important part, which is your work, your work of honoring yourself, sitting with yourself, loving yourself, pouring into yourself, and thus building much deeper connection with who you are. So then you can show up authentically with men and with any authority where you don't shrink and hide in front of them, you actually express your fullness. So then, instead of bossing you around, they want to give to you. They want to serve you. They want to love you. They want to celebrate you. They want to care for you. So if you're a woman who is really on the path of creating consciously life and relationships that you're desiring, I am highly, highly, highly recommending you to join me. We begin October 22nd.